guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4, Once Upon a Horror Story, Season 1, Part 5, and in the last part, we did, we attended the charity ball with Zoe, and Zoe revealed her daughter's parentage, which I have been hinting out through this entire series, and it is in fact Scott Betancourt, and in this part, it is Scott and Helena's wedding, and this is Scott's episode, and before I go, I always forget to do this, so I'm going to do this in the very beginning of the episode, since... I always seem to forget to explain why they would have motive to kill Serenity. Zoe, I don't know, I don't remember if I explained it. Zoe's was, Serenity was an awful best friend. And they were like, best friends? Like, they were friends for the sake of nostalgia. And, um, Serenity was awful to her. Serenity was awful to everybody. And Serenity slept with Zoe's boyfriend and Zoe found out. And, you know, he did the moment. Zoe's hot-headed and she could have done it. And Serenity was awful. Serenity was an awful person. I, I cannot stress this enough. Serenity was awful. And Scott, well, he is perfectionist, materialistic, hates children, and he's business savvy. And what is his relationship? What was his relationship with Serenity? It's not very good. See? She was a snob, romantic, and evil. She was evil. She was an evil, slutty snob. I had to, I wanted to age her into a young adult, so thought might as well. But, anyway. Scott was very much in love with Zoe. And Serenity was awful to Zoe. Serenity was awful to her parents. Well, their parents. Serenity was awful to everyone around them. Serenity was awful. And maybe Scott just kind of got sick of her. Serenity mistreating everybody and acting like she was God. Like, playing with their lives like they were her little dolls. And maybe he just followed her out there to that hot tub one night and threw, I'm going to say, a radio in. And it was, <laughs> I know this doesn't make sense at all, but it was going to be plugged in by an extension cord. And just, whoop, it just whopped itself in. And so, maybe he did it. Maybe he was just sick of everybody being mistreated by Serenity and her playing God and her being awful and her doing all of these awful things to her family, to her best friends, so-called. And maybe he did it. But anyway, this is Scott's episode. And Scott, right now, he's the assistant manager of the Betancourt Corporation, whatever, Betancourt Co., I don't know. It's, they're, they're businessy people. And he wants to be fabulously wealthy. And these are his skills. He has charisma level 7, fitness level 5, and logic level 4. And these are his relationships. He, I, the only thing, the only reason I have his relationship with Helena is this, this high is because I need to make sure they actually do, in fact, get married. And if it was lower than it was with Zoe, then he probably wouldn't get married to Helena. But I want them to get married, but we're going to keep in mind that he loves Zoe more. Because he's in love with Zoe Rose. And, um, he's friends with his cousin, he's friends with his father, oh, his mother, Lydia Betancourt, she is a snob, insane, and materialistic. Lydia, she was kind of like a Stepford, she kind of, she was kind of like a Stepford smiler, she was kind of very messed up on the inside, but she was dealing with that by fake smiling, surrounding herself with riches, and taking heavy drugs, and so... Once Serenity died, it kind of sent Lydia over the edge, because even though Serenity and Lydia, they had a complicated mother-daughter relationship, Lydia still loved her daughter very dearly, and it sent Lydia over the edge, and Lydia now resides in an insane asylum, I believe, in Willow Creek, maybe? And Lydia is insane. Lydia has lost her mind, she has been committed, and that is why she looks rough, and that's why she's not here. And I didn't want to explain that until this, because this is Scott's episode. I didn't want to explain that in Helena's episode. So, yeah, that's what happened to Lydia. Her, like, his mother. And, yeah. So, we're gonna throw the wedding. And, yeah, I know where I've dressed everybody. So, everybody I'm going to invite, I have dressed. So, there should be no more ugly outfits while, like, there should be, it shouldn't happen. Like, nothing too ugly should happen. Like, the charity ball, I had only planned, because Zoe didn't know anybody at the time, because I had only planned on inviting the mains and, like, her sister, 
But then everybody showed up, and I was like, yes, let's invite everybody. And then they all ended up looking horribly, and it kind of went really badly because I didn't plan enough time for it because I was too busy explaining with Zoe. But we are going to be throwing a wedding. It's going to be a prestige event, obviously, because this is the Betancourt Livingston wedding. We're going to invite Nicholas. We're not going to invite Lydia because she's crazy. We're going to invite Carly, Colby, Veronica, Marisol, Zoe. I don't know if we should invite Marisol. So, did I dress Drew Sanford? I can't remember if I dressed Drew Sanford, but I know I dressed everybody else on this list. I even dressed little Marisol. We're going to invite her. You know, he wants to be a good father. And, obviously, I, I was just clicking. I'm like, mm, sure, maybe. We need all of these things. I, not, a, not a musician. But we need a caterer and a mixologist, obviously. And we are going to be throwing it at... Where is it? Not any residences. The cafe. Oh, if it's not on here. Oh, it's not on here. Manage worlds. Save and go to manage worlds. Hold on. We're going to do this together. Because might as well... Um, you might have already seen it. I placed it down probably, like, a few episodes ago. Maybe even, like, when we first got into this save. But it is right next to where... It's right next to some building. It's in Newcrest. It's... Is it right next to the charity ball? No, it was right next to the church. Um, I need to build, change this to maybe a a regular park and not a national park because it let my Shino Meadows in but yeah this is where we're going to get married I haven't actually looked inside I've just oh pretty pretty um I don't see a place for a bar so we're gonna put a bar somewhere um we're gonna sell this we're gonna make this a. Um, we're gonna we're gonna give it new. We're gonna do chef's kitchen. Um, convivial, and um, huh, party place. And we're going to make it. Can we make it just a park? No. Okay. Can I make it a nightclub? Hold on. Let me add in the bar. And then we'll probably let me make it more like a lounge or a nightclub or something. So, a bar. A very classy bar, obviously. So, like, what's... Why can I not... What is intersecting? Okay. So, you can be moved over here. Actually, look up view spaces. Like, because we're probably not going to be using that little reception area. But I know we will be using the bar because, let's be honest, my sins are drunks. Um, can it work as a lounge? No. A nightclub. I need a toilet and a sink. Okay, I can do that. I can work with that. Would it be rude of me to put one, put a toilet outside? Um, there can be like a sink right next to these. Like here's the sink, and then the toilet can be out here. It'll be really awkward if someone needs to actually use it though. Um, actually, the toilet won't be out there. The toilet will be... Um, I don't want to put it in... I don't want there to be a toilet here. But I need to be able to throw a party. So, back to Manage Worlds. It is now a nightclub. And, yeah. Time for... The wedding. Let's hope it actually goes well. Because I'm honestly scared that one of them will say no. Because... This is probably the first couple I've actually had try and get married that doesn't love each other. I guess 
this is kind of like a marriage of convenience. Like, she needs a place to house her family. He needs... I don't know. I don't know what Scott needs. I feel like Scott's doing this just to kind of be nice, even though he hates children. And I'd like that to be noted that he took in Helena's little sisters, but he probably would have told Zoe to look into her other options when it came to the baby. But then, maybe he just matured. But, yeah, he hates children. And Zoe knew that. Zoe fully knew he hated children. She knew. But that does kind of... It raises some questions as to why he took in Helena's two little sisters, who are children. And it just raises questions on what he would have done. Or, like, does he care about Helena more? Well, I'm talking more from Zoe's perspective about that, because... I feel like we talked about that in her episode too, because that perplexes me. I'm, I'm not, I don't even know why I did that. Like, did Scott, did Scott Betancourt grow as a person, or did he just like Helena more? Like, I don't know. I feel like he loves Zoe more than Helena, but I've been wrong before. So, Sims, not Lydia, Nicholas, Carly, Colby, Veronica, Kane, Zoe, Marisol, Drew, Aiden, Robin, Julie, and Jesse. And a caterer. And a mixologist. And where is the nightclub wedding in Greece version 3? I have no idea where I, who built this. I obviously did not build this. Because let's be honest, my I can barely build a, ha build a house. And it, they look like little boxes. So let's be honest. We all know I didn't build it. We all know I didn't. Wait. I built two lots in the Sims. And they're. Wait, no one. I built one lot. I had built one lot in the sense, and it was the room for the charity ball, and it wasn't even really a lot. It was just a room. And, yeah, that was, that has been the only lot I have actually built in the Sims 4. And it was kind of ugly. It was just a big square. Rectangle. It was a rectangle, not a square. Aw, everybody looks so cute. Helena, why is your dress not the one I wanted? Because you have to be in your outfits that are in the thumbnail. <laughs> because for some reason, Helena got to be on a second thumbnail because I like her wedding outfit. But these are their wedding outfits. There's Helena. I love this dress. I downloaded it. Well, not recently, but I don't think I've used it. But it's gorgeous. She's on the thumbnail. Then there's... Tell me... Picture. I need a picture of this, obviously. Did I not invite... Oh my god. I need to go invite Rise and like Haruka. Oh, He was looking at her! Did I not invite you to? Bring here. Bring here. Oh. Okay, and then I need you to change into your formal outfits that I spent two seconds on and you... Not being such a Change into your formal outfits, but let's look at everybody else's outfits. Veronica is still rocking that those questionable bangs, but I'm probably gonna um, delete them after this episode because I wanted them to have their day in the shade or their day in the sun. I don't know. But Veronica with her purple ensemble, Carly looking very pink, very classy. Um, Colby Olsen, Nicholas, those two, aww, 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 little Marisol, finally has a father in her life, and there's Robin Wyatt, who is in the Wine Moms, I thought I'd make, I don't know if I had that club before, but yeah, they're the Wine Moms, and yeah, who else, is anybody else, er, I hate how they don't all show up at once, because it makes me feel insecure about my weddings. Um, but then, I hate how that hair does that. Like, Marisol's hair, if you back up, it does this. It did that on Sophie in the Decades Challenge, and it was very uncomfortable. But they're the girls. They're not twins, but they kind of dress like it. Um, is anybody else going to show up? Oh, there's Kane. He was weeping. Why are you weeping? I don't know why Kane's weeping. And then there's... Um, Julie, that's our cousin, that's Aiden's little sister, she seems kind of sad. No, 
No, you're not. Go you are not doing this. You are not doing this today. Check, check, toddler. Let's talk. Um, I'm gonna have Helena go talk to the guests. Where are the guests? Where are my guests? Where are they? Oh, there they are. How did I know they'd all be at the bar? I said that before. I was like, I was like, yeah, they're all gonna be at the bar. Um, gossip. I hate um those. I hate um I hate um prestige events. But I always have them because my sins are always too good for casual weddings. Zoe looks so pretty. I love her and her green like color scheme. I guess that's kind of mint. I should put Genesis in an outfit like this. This is like minty. It's cute. Where are the others? There's Drew, and I guess he was dressed for the occasion. Who else is here? Oh, there's Jesse. There's Aiden. Zoe Patel. And the children are screwing up my lot. Well, that's not even really my lot. But thank for coming. Tell an engaging story. Um, and I want you to ask him have a deep conversation because like some heavy things went down I'm gonna say that was a few days ago but like some heavy things went down and I just feel like um Scott would talk to Aiden about that because I feel like out of the the group him and Aiden are probably the closest so you've had them talk betrothed have them flirt New beam Um, romance. Maza. Zoe. This must be so sad for Zoe. I feel like with Zoe, this is kind of like the the Jade and Spencer wedding from Get Together, and she's kind of like Alex being all sad, but like not outwardly sad. Oh, you got a phone call. Oh, guess not. Um, you need to talk to your sister. Um, uh, ask her about her day. Um, gossip. Just casual things. Hey, Finn. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then, are you two flirting with each other yet? No, but you're about to. Oh, in front of Zoe. And then order a drink. Oh, snoosh, snoosh. I just need you all to drink, so... Like, is Zoe about to walk away? No. Zoe's mad. Aww. I feel so bad for Zoe because her heart's went down with him. Just drink, everybody. Let's just drink and forget our problems and the fact that one of us probably, one of us most definitely did, in fact, murder our friend. And I feel like they really aren't addressing this issue. Oh, she's so sad. Why is Zoe always so sad at events? Like, she's always so sad. Like, why? Why do I put my favorite character in the series through this? Why do I put her through this? Oh, wait. Because she has to, like, grow and all that. So, call the meal. And then this, I want you to add a wedding talk or two. Stop drinking. We don't have to drink anymore. Jeez. They're... Ugh. These people... How much time do we have left? We have seven hours. That's good. But I'd like to end this at one point. So can you stop talking with people and call people to the meal? Like, have everybody start eating. So I can get my... Robin and Nicholas just became good friends. That's good because you're siblings. That's always good. You might even be twins. I don't know. I don't know how twins work in real life. Like if it skips a generation or if it doesn't. I'm really not sure. So I don't know if it's even possible for them to be twins since he had twins. Um, but people are about to go start eating and I need a marriage. So get married to Scott Betancourt. <sighs> 
this is sad. This is a sad wedding. I don't think I've ever had a sad wedding in The Sims. Oh, were you talking to Carly? Okay. I wonder what that was about. Guess we'll never know. Come on, everybody. Watch the wedding. Go here. Okay, I need to obviously get pictures of this because it's important enough to have its own episode. Well, I guess all weddings in my game are important enough to have their own episode. But, like, this is a really pretty wedding. What are you doing? No, don't. Whatever Carly has to say is not as important as this. Get married to Scott Bettencourt. Get married. No, I guess I want him to do it. Stop trying to... Oh. Go here. She is right there. Stop. 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 You are going to do exactly what I want you to do. Get married to Helena Livingston. Get up the damn stairs. Ooh, I didn't want to curse in this episode. It was supposed to be a happy-go-lucky episode. It was supposed to be a nice wedding. Oh, look, there's Zoe and her daughter. Lovely marathon. Lovely, lovely. I just wanted this to be a classy, elegant affair. I downloaded a wedding menu that's supposed to be based on Greece. Like, hold on, pause. You can tell I wanted this to be a classy affair. But as per usual in my game, it is never a classy affair. Weddings are a hot mess. Can you get out of the way, Drew Sanford? God, I get it that you just got a divorce or whatever, but, like, um, I'm trying to, like, have a wedding, and the camera won't cooperate with me. They're either too high or too low. Okay. There. Oh. This is good enough. Put your drink down. Aw, adorable. Just kidding. I don't ship these two at all. But, like, the story requires... Well, the story doesn't even really require them to get married. Like, it's not at all important who the murderer is. Ooh, that would have been good. This didn't happen, but this would have been a good plot line. If Helena or Scott did it and the other one would have saw them... And then they got married because they didn't want to testify against each other if it were so to happen. But then I feel like it wouldn't be such an elaborate affair that would have just gotten eloped. Plus, that didn't happen. Oh, Go away. A wedding is not the time to ask me for big sister advice. Adorable. So we have been married. And... No one apparently watched the ceremony. Oh, I guess they did. So now we just need to take the first slice of the cake. And then we'll be done with the wedding. And it'll be sh still be shorter than Zoe's episode. I don't know how Zoe's episode got that long. But, like, we had to, like, fit in a lot of things. Especially, like, her, her breakfast date. Hold on, what? Helena has been moved from the main... Two club because she no longer meets the admission requirements. It's because she got married and I had to like scope them out and have them and make and like because like to find the categories and all that to find like the Sims to like get down the Sims they were all single at the time and not married so I just search I had them have to be single to be in the club but it doesn't matter because I don't think the mains have to gather anymore. I could be wrong, and worse comes work worse I make a new club. Aw, oh, these two. No Feed him the stupid cake. Oh, we already got our gold wedding. So lovely. So who are you staring at? I love it. I love it. It's so much crap that could have been solved with like a conversation. 
like Zoe could have been spared so much heartache. Like she's so sad. She didn't even do nothing, and she's so sad. And then Helena's over here, like, okay, I see, I see. I feel like they have a very like untrustworthy relationship when it comes to Zoe Rhodes because Zoe's kind of her friend, but then he's also in love with Zoe. Like, I don't know, it's crazy. I feel like one of his reasons, if I haven't explained this already, would be like. Serenity was real awful to Zoe, which is also one of Kane's reasons. Like, that would have been one of his reasons if he did it. And I just feel like the boys in this series are all... I feel like Zoe's just very likable by the boys, apparently, because Kane's in love with her. Scott's in love with her. Aiden's probably her closest friend. Aiden and Veronica, probably. So, Zoe's very likable. That's what I'm trying to say. Zoe's very likable. And are you still staring at her? Because I wanted a picture from this angle. No, but... Um, where are you going? Are you about to... No! You are not about to swim laps in a fountain. I won't allow this. This happened at Genesis's wedding in Nuts Berry, and I will not allow this to happen at yours. So, we're just gonna end this here. Oh, Scott looks really cute. I feel like Scott is one of my better looking male sims that I have made. He's one of the better looking ones, along with, like, Colby Olsen. And I just feel like that's really, I feel like it needs to be noted, because I, re I feel like I usually don't make really cute male sims. And I feel like Scott Bettencourt, 10 out of 10. Flawless sim. And my timer only had three seconds left. And so, ugh, Sims 4, why do you not respond as soon as I'm about to end it? But that is all for this episode. In the next episode, we will either pick up with, who do we have left? We've done Helena, we've done Kane, we've done Zoe, and we've done Scott. So we have Carly, Aiden, and Veronica, and I have no idea in which order. I think Aiden's last, or Carly. I don't think Veronica's last. I think Veronica's episode is next, but I've been wrong before. So I'll see you guys next episode with either Carly, Aiden, or Veronica. And that is all for now. So see you guys next time. Bye.